Attention, this video is intended for educational purposes only. This video is intended for educational purposes only. Rocking with PettyBlog.com. I can't be on the Petty Blog. <laughs> So let's get right into it and yes I know I'm a little late but better late than never plus let's be real here for a moment is it really late when nobody else caught it oh it'd be new information so lateness don't apply to ha stevie pissy smelling tea okay so yeah as per usual azalea banks came for Nicki minaj and this was a few weeks ago when Nicki redropped her old mixtape and added like two to three new songs to it which azalea found to be absolutely funny <laughs> She was laughing her ass off talking about how Nicki could not find any new hits so she had to go dig into some old remixes from 12 years ago to save her. <laughs> Azalea is one of Nicki's harshest critics. Wait! And she did not stop there. She also went on to body shame Nicki again because she's done so multiple times over the years. Calling her overweight, which personally I don't see, but I guess it's different standards for different people. To me, fat is a reach. Back when she was accusing Nicki of stealing her mermaid idea, she wrote, Chicken of the sea, sis. Stay in your own lane, Nicki Minaj. LOL, you running out of ideas, girl. Treasure Island. Why does Nicki Minaj have to be so damn corny? Like, sometimes it's just like, sis. Find some art, please, LOL. It's giving canned tuna fish. Your hips and booty too big for that mermaid tail, LOL. She tried it, though. That's cute. And when someone said you was begging her for a feature, though, you corny ass B, she replied, nah, she can keep it now. She's giving me auntie chicken of the sea tuna and a canned baked potato vibes. I'm good on it now. Bye, Barbs. And this time, after Nikki dropped this picture of her in this pillow, Azalea was still going in, insinuating that Nikki was trying to hide her weight gain. So then a Barb DM'd her to say, your question the other day was, what is she hiding behind those pillows, you said? And the answer is nothing, bimbo. Clown emoji, clown emoji. She replied, it's giving Photoshop and Victoria's Secret's pink collection. Three for $25, parachute panties. It's giving I F my body up so much all I can fit is spandex. All them years of calling bitches her sons, she looks like a breeder, laughing my ass off. Oh wow. And then she goes on this rant about how she knows for a fact that Nikki is on that powder after seeing her sniffling and sniffling back to back. Oop, I'm sorry y'all. Can you see how it's not coming down? So yeah, when Nikki had responded weeks ago denying being on it and saying that it was allergies that caused her sniffling, she was most definitely replying to Azalea's claims. I don't know if it's just me, but I wouldn't be embarrassed about any drug I did. That's why I talk about the motherfucking drugs I do in my motherfucking music. Always have, always will. If I'm, if I'm off them, I'm off them, child. But I want to make this clear. So open everybody's ears, listen to your, clean them ears out. I have never, ever in my life with my hand to Jesus Christ, and y'all know how I feel about my Lord and Savior. Never in my life, ever, not even once, sniffed Coke. Ever. Since I was a kid, I, I get cold. Like, and, and when I used to wear contacts, that would, that would trigger my allergies. I'm always just colder than everyone else. I asked the doctor, was I anemic? He said, no, your, your natural body temperature is just lower than the average person. So that means, <laughs> somebody said perks only. <laughs> yeah, okay, cause I mean. <laughs> For some reason, Nikki always acknowledges Azalea and what she has to say. So that's why Azalea continues to pick at her. In fact, back in 2012, she was supposedly supposed to go on tour with Nikki. And every time Azalea comes for her head, all she does is apologize and Nikki always replies forgiving her. Nikki has accepted her apology publicly a couple of times to the point that the last time, Azalea was laughing at Nikki for accepting it again and actually believing that the sorry was genuine. <laughs> at the time, she had retweeted the apology conversation between the two and wrote, Sarah Nora, baby, stick a fork in it. She's done. Crying, laughing. That's still cute, but let's be real. I was carrying, sis. I don't really feel that deeply. It was a carry, lol. So basically, she was just playing. <laughs> This is why she continues to go in because she knows when she hits Nikki up, Nikki gonna respond. This time around when Azalea was going in a few weeks ago, another Barb showed some DMs between them to which she told Azalea, you want to respond so bad, crying, laughing. Her whole cock is in your mouth. Sheesh. Azalea said, no, she's just an effing ham, lol. Like, ew. Then the person said, we all know you a cokehead, it's quite clear. I know coke behavior when I see it. If you're bothered by the queen, just say that. Azalea said, I'm definitely not a cokehead, laughing my ass off. And even if I was, I'm skinny and fat. Fabulous. 
and that's where Nicki Minaj's sister had enough. She took to her stories and reposted those DMs that the Barb shared and wrote, Fabulous is something insecure little girls say when they hate on the queen. Shut the F up, cause we all forgot you existed. Ooh, not forgot Azalea existed. <laughs> she tired of old girl. Keep in mind that Azalea also threatened to call CPS on Nikki to have her baby taken away because she's claiming that she's on that powder. The girls love to key and cackle on the rap girls. It's a key key. It's a key. It's a key key and it's a cackle. But we definitely just lost DMX to like loose drugs in a bag, abuse, like substance abuse. Like it's funny, like yeah, your titties look like a butt. Your titties look like it's about to fucking shark. But <laughs> it's not that funny. Yes, we need an intervention on Miss Nicki Minaj, that sniffling, mm -mm, I'm not buying that you, I'm not buying that. Crying, emotional, like, mm -mm, sis, no bitch, no. And I know from experience, okay? No. We have to, we gotta get that together. This second Pfizer vaccine is dragging the girls right now. Like, it's dragging me. My bones is aching and all of that, but what I've seen in that fucking Nicki Minaj live, I don't give a fuck what you fucking barbs will say. You barbs could post unicorns and whatever you want to post on my page all day. Barbs. I'm gonna call y'all because y'all see barbs. I'm gonna call y'all to see barbs. But anyways, um, hip hop. We need to discuss this because, yeah, no, no, that was very inappropriate. Very CPS. That was very BCW. ACS, like, no, remove the child from the home. That was, that was very inappropriate. But wait, she had more though. She reposted this tweet in her stories that says, Nikki spent her life telling Azalea Banks that she don't do coke, but does pop perks, smoke weed, and sniff bleach and rubbing alcohol. Girl, what the F? Azalea said, wait, wasn't the original excuse that she was emotional because of a gift or something? That's true. Either way, this is all really frightening. This is what, if y'all really wanna know, I'll be sniffing alcohol, rubbing alcohol. I ain't gonna lie. I love the smell of it. Since I since I was pregnant, uh, I started sniffing bleach <laughs> when I was pregnant. Mm. Now, since we're here, and in case you missed this one as well, her little sister also had to check a popular TikToker, who I never heard of up until this story, Mattia Polivio, after he disrespected Nikki's baby. Earlier this year, when Nikki shared pictures of her adorable son in a now-deleted post, he reposted the picture and wrote, Fat ASS baby at Nicki Minaj, B-I-T-C-H. Wow, that's crazy. About a baby, though? Look, who cares if you don't like the person who had the baby? But babies are off limits, okay? Nikki's sis immediately clapped back at him and said, you a clown, body shaming a child? You know damn well you probably was a fat baby too. Fat babies are beautiful. You're the F mad cause you ain't getting the attention you wish you had. You're mad cause you're irrelevant, like go do something. Keep talking shit about my nephew, we finna have more than an issue like the F. Stop hating. We get you can't get a child of your own, so you decided to take your anger on someone else, but go shove that jealousy-ish so far up where the sun don't shine. Woo, little sister shaking the table. Shaking the table. <laughs> She also took to her stories and circled her comment and said, Oop, sorry, tee hee hee, with the angel emoji, and said, Matia, this you? Weird ass child, anyways. Mm, she told him, I'm not running, bitch. I bust my gun in. Hold on, I hear somebody coming. Oh, this bitch set me up. <laughs> And y'all know I'm not finna make a separate video. So since we're on this topic of babies and TikTokers, let's go dip into his tea a little bit. Long story short, he cheated on his girlfriend and got a TikToker pregnant who he was supposed to link with on some TikTok-ish. But basically they got it popping. And the thing is this, he snuck and took the protection off, but she did not find out until she found out that she was pregnant that he did that. And his BM felt bad for exposing him and said that she would go back and lie by saying that she was lying about it to get everybody off his back. Mm -mm -mm. So in other words, if all goes well, Mr. Talk About Babies got a baby on on the way himself. Protection. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, Jade. Wait, 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 wait. You didn't know he took it off. So like now, um, now I'm taking it off. He didn't even ask for your permission. No, either way, just took it off. Oh. How do you, you think didn't tell me? She didn't tell me this either. What the fuck? I'm so proud. And then, and then when I was sitting on the phone with him, he no, was like, that's a, that's a big deal. I'm sorry, that's a big deal. I know. And that's when he, really big deal. When I was sitting on the phone with him, he was like, but I didn't like, in you, is that not rape? Crazy, right? 
But what are y'all thinking overall? We want to know, so leave your thoughts below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more. And don't forget to hit that bell to join the notification gang. Pettyblog.com signing out. Pettyblog.com.